Hi everybody, welcome to my lab, such as it is. Here's my bike wheel and some instruments on the wall and the circuit, standard SSG circuit, Tesla coil, a Tesla single wire transmission of energy prototype that I got on eBay. It's very cool. But this is what I'm really making this uh, video for everybody on the uh, Energy Science Forum. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on what I'm doing here. This is the former uh, three pole monopole. It's now a six pole. I added six a six pole rotor, uh, which is actually the updated rotor from our charge. It's got uh, a method of securing the magnets in there using metal rather than super glue, which is great for higher RPM, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. I added three more motor coils, so for a total of six motor coils, there's the circuits, there's the original three, here's the uh, additional three, and I also uh, took the neodymium magnets out of the six pole rotor and added the samarium cobalt magnets, which uh, John Bedini says were actually in his original TUV test motor which was the inspiration for this unit here so uh, with the samarium cobalts I do notice better charging because you don't have coil saturation issues with the uh, larger magnetic field of the neodymium magnets as a matter of fact I'm using only three coils right now I'm not even using all six motor coils and I am charging this 12 volt 12 amp hour battery with this 12 volt 12 amp hour battery. Last night when I went to bed both of these batteries were at 13.01 volts when I got up this morning after eight hours of charging. The primary battery had gotten down 0 0.04 volts and the secondary battery, the charging battery, had actually come up 0 0.06 volts. So uh, we are getting more charging than discharging and the reason is I built a uh, pulsar to uh, take the energy from the six generator coils that you see mounted on a second rotor behind the motor coils there and I'm pulsing that energy into the primary. I built uh, that little armature there and those contactors that you see attached to the uh, big wheel there out of some craft copper here that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. Twelve bucks it's the uh, thickest that they have. Uh, it'd be nice if it's a little bit thicker, but honestly, it works okay. It gives me enough spring tension to give me good contact, and they're really easy, really easy to work with. You can cut it with just regular scissors. And there's a capacitor and transistor and uh, bridge rectifier. Uh, all these were part of a kit that you could get from our charge, but you can't get them anymore. Uh, I actually changed, put a bigger bridge rectifier in there because I knew it was going to be working with larger voltages than the original single coil that it was designed for. Now, as you can see, the coil cores on the generator coils are out quite a ways. Uh, I'm getting about 10.5 volts. Uh, these coils, the generator coils, are all hooked up in series. I'm extracting the energy between these two coils here and uh, getting about 0.8 amps AC going into the bridge rectifier right now. And then that little armature and contactor setup that you see right there is running to the negative of the primary right here and that's what I'm switching off in order to send the capacitor pulse into the primary while the battery is completely disconnected from the circuit. And that makes a huge difference in your in your uh, coefficient of performance. Now, one thing that was really interesting about this setup before I took the neodymiums out of the six pole rotor, uh, whenever I'd get this thing up to uh, 4,000 RPMs or better, and had that capacitor pulsar circuit working, I noticed an anomalous situation whereby if I were to uh, push the cores of the generator coils down, in other words putting more of a load on the shaft, it would actually speed up. And additionally, if I added some LEDs tapping from the same place 
then I'm tapping the uh, energy from the generator coil so it's going directly to the bridge rectifier, uh, I would also see a, an increase in RPM, which is completely backwards. When you're loading up the generator coils, they put, they should put more load on that shaft and they should slow that down, when in fact, uh, that was exactly the opposite of the case I was getting. Now, when I switched out to the samarium cobalt magnets, I couldn't get that to replicate because the samarium cobalts just don't put out the RPMs that the, that the neodymiums do. Uh, but I'm really not interested in torque and RPMs. I'm really, really interested in is the radiant aspects uh, of the of the unit. And so I really wasn't able to get back up to the higher RPMs till I went to 24 volts. And now. Even with the samarium cobalt magnets uh, in the rotor, I'm able to get those same anomalous effects. And so once you get above about 4,000 RPMs or so. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Just having some fun with this uh, this little unit. None of the uh, components of the circuits, none of the coils have been matched. This is still kind of a rough build. I intend to rewind the motor coils with uh, number 19 gauge and also match the transistors and uh, diodes and, and, and resistors. As you see the circuit right here, that's exactly how they came from our charge. I have not done any matching or anything like that, and I'm still getting pretty good results with this. I uh, can't wait to see what happens when I actually do a proper build, get some really decent coils in there and some matched components, and see what kind of results I get. I'm going to run this at 24 volts here later on. Right now, I was running it yesterday at 24 volts, uh, but I had to uh, recharge my primaries and uh, discharge my secondaries because they were all the way up to 14.8 volts. Anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to post this. Uh, anybody that wants to uh, learn more about uh, radiant energy and Benini systems, go to Energy Science Forum. And uh, there's a lot to learn there. We're all having a great time. And we'd sure love to have you all join us and uh, help us in the research. We'll see you all on Energy Science Forum.